I wanted to make a quick video on on an oil change on a Nissan 300ZX uh, ZX1. I noticed that there's not one on there, and I know it's a very simple thing to do, but I wanted to just show you this in case it helps somebody. Uh, the starter's right below the oil filter, so I put an old Walmart sack on top of some paper towels just so that oil doesn't get down in there on the starter because you can see it's kind of in a bad spot but there's not much room on these cars as you know anyway so that'll help you keep the starter clean and then of course all you need now is just to get your pan underneath your plug there you're going to need a 14 millimeter. Loosen it up. Do the rest with your hands. Okay, so one thing to check on the starter is these right here get so oily. This connector here, you just take it off and push that in and you pull it up. And it's got this bolt up here. Alright, so one thing to check on these starters before you buy a new one, if you're having problems with it starting, and you know the and you know it's not the battery, it could be the starter. If it's not cranking over. So if it's not cranking over, or if it's cranking over kind of real slow, and you know it's not the battery it could be the starter. It could be the starters going bad, but it also could be that these connections here are just loose or covered with filth like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all this up real good and just so it has a good connection there. I had a friend of mine who had one with a lot of miles on it. Starter was still good. It was just these connections on it. Anyway, I wanted to point that out in case you're dealing with a starter problem. Um, I'm in the middle of an oil change, so I'm going to get back to that. This car sat for a long time. It's a, it's an '86, um, but it's only got 68,000 miles on it, and so it's set. And so I'm just going through it, doing everything really: timing belt, shocks, struts, uh, rotors, pads you know, all that radiator, water pump, and it needs, it needs everything just pretty much freshened up, but it's kind of a fun project, and it's not an easy car to work on if you're big, and I'm 6'4", and I got big hands, and they don't fit hardly anywhere on this, I like Chevys and Jeeps. But this is a cool car to me too. I, I really like it. It's kind of fun to drive and yeah. So back to the oil change. In here, okay I'm just going to pull that out and I've got these bags kind of lining it to where I don't dump oil on my stuff and, and I'm going to put the filter there and then I'm going to put the new clean in that area. Then I'm going to put the new filter on and fill it up with oil. All right, so now all you got to do, put about three quarts in it, uh, see if it's at the L mark on your, the low mark on your dipstick, and if it is, fire it up for about a minute, which I'm obviously not going to do right now, but um, let it run for about a minute, shut it off, let it all settle to the bottom, and add whatever amount you need to get it near the uh, full mark. That's it.